student my name is confident welcome to our revision session and in this lesson i'm bringing in some remedial work or some corrections which i made an error in one of the questions that i just did for mathematics and four and the question the question was on word problems and i will like you guys to correct that error and actually the way or how i discovered that i I made an error is I was working on this question on mathematics n3 a similar question on a word problem and while I'm working on it I'm seeing myself working um, with a different method and a thought came to me saying I had a similar problem in maths n4 but this is not how I approached it when I went back to the video that I, I uploaded on YouTube I discovered that indeed there is an error with this particular question let me just draw you back to that question this is the question that I did for those of you who are doing their mathematics and four so this was the question and um, the question was the breadth of a rectangular field is seven meters less than the length and then it says the area of the rectangular field is 500 square meters each side of the rectangular field is increased by three meters then it says determine the value of the new area so it was five marks a good question and the way it tricked me i'll say it was just something i totally uh not i cannot say forgot but i totally um it i totally missed it in a way i missed that side but it is very very obvious if you can actually look at this maybe some of you already picked up the error but let me go through that again. I think the way I worked on it, this was um, the method that I did. But let's look at the question again, this time taking note of the area of the error that was made. So we're saying the breadth of a rectangular field is seven meters less than the length. The area of the rectangular field is 500 square meters. Each side of the rectangular field is increased by three meters. And then it says determine the value of the new area so let us look at how um, the approach was um, in that case as i said i picked this up when i was working on a similar question in math and three so first things first let's look at the first um, part of the statement they are saying there is a rectangular field um, let me make it into like that so we have a rectangular field all right um, I hope this will be fine but let me just give it a bit of space down like that so we have a rectangular field here so this rectangular field so there we go so we have a rectangular field so they are saying uh, the breadth of the rectangular field is seven meters less than the length so now what i want us to do is to say just like we did let the breadth be equal to x so meters so the breadth of the rectangular field will be equal to x meters so in here i will have my breadth my b is equal to x meters so and they are telling us about the area of the rectangular field maybe i need to write this outside so let's say my b here is equal to x meters that is my breadth and then my length here they are saying the length of the rectangular field the breadth of rectangular field uh, is seven meters less than the length so okay so we have a rectangular field we have a, uh, the breadth that they're saying they're saying it is seven meters less than the length actually let the length not the breadth let's start with the length let the length be equal to x so length is equal to x meters and therefore the breadth they are saying the breadth of this rectangular field 
is 7 meters less. So it will be x minus 7 meters. Okay, so the length is x meters. And if the breadth is 7 meters less, which means from the length, I must remove or I must subtract 7 meters to get the breadth. For example, if the length is 20 meters, so the breadth will be 7 meters less than the length, which means it will be 13 meters. So the length will be that and the breadth will be that. So you see that. And then the next thing uh, they are saying, that is where, okay, that, let's read the next statement. The area of the rectangular field is 500 square meters. So we have got in the center here our area, which is 500 meters squared. And then we say it by the area. They are referring to um, the shaded region inside here. So this is our area here. And our area, as we say, it is um, everything inside. So we are saying the area is uh, 500 square meters. If I can have that again. Area is 500 square meters. All right. So having done that, the next statement is the one that um, an error was made. Now listen to this carefully. It says each side of the rectangular field is then increased by 3 meters. So now each side, so I have got the 3 meters of each side here and then I've got a 3 meters of each side and then if I now have my new rectangular field I'll be having something like this this is my new rectangular field all right so this is what i'm having where they are saying each side is increased by three meters so now i just want to show you where the error was made so if i'm going to increase uh, each side by uh, three meters so what i have if you want to check carefully from this distance to this distance is the increase which is as they are saying is three meters and then again from this distance to that distance I increase by three meters and then the one that is in the center here it is remember that that is the the previous length which is x minus seven meters so that is the breadth and again if i look at length from here to here they say each side is increased by three meters so i've got three meters again from here to there i have um three meters and then the previous distance remember it was our length and our length was x meters so this is what uh, I was having. Now, if you look previously, that is where the statement was lost. Uh, I mean, actually was missed to say I did have my distance here, which I did put as three meters, but I did not include the other distance here, which was three meters. Hence, I lost uh, one of the sides, which was three meters in the same scenario. I did have this side which has 3 meters, but I did not include the other side which, which was 3 meters. So it made the new breadth an error and it made the new length an error. Look at the length, it says the length was x plus 3, but now if you look at the new diagram I'm going to be having, my length now is equal to, I've got 3 plus 3 plus x so it's x plus 3 plus 3 and my new length is equal to x plus 6 see that is where 
so the, the, the error was made again my new breath here is equal to I have got x minus 7 then I've got plus 3 plus 3 which is equal to x now minus 7 plus 3 plus 3 which is minus 7 plus 6 which is x minus 1 meters so previously I had x minus 3 as I mean x minus 4 here as my new breadth and then x plus 3 as my new length but you can see that this is not proper now if you look then at um, the next method is the same we say it in here and the area which was a uh, length times breadth and the length times breadth was x minus um, 7 in this case and then you're solving for x there so let me come back here to say if we're looking now at the um, if I come back here and say let us look at the area of uh, of the rectangle in this case this is the first rectangle so the area of the rectangle before the increase it is remember area is equal to length times breadth now our area they told us that it is uh, 500 uh, square meters so our area is 500 meters squared but how do you find the area again area is equal to length times breadth using the dimensions we have for the first one remember L we said let it be X and breadth is X minus 7 so if I multiply now X times X minus 7 this must give me 500 so I have got x squared minus 7x and then take 500 this side it will be minus 500 is equal to 0. So look at this equation. You'll discover that it is the same equation that we had also in this case. That is what we, we did have here. So we solved this question using the quadratic formula no you are, you are solving it and just to test it again to see if I did um, put everything right so it is just to check my answer using the quadratic equation which is minus 7 plus square root of minus 7 squared minus 4 my a in this case is 1 and my C is minus 500 all over 2 and my A was 1 so once I've got this you can see that I got 26,133 which was correct and the other value put a minus I get a negative so my answers here that I must have x is equal to 26,133 or, or x is equal to minus 19,133 and we said the one for negative you ignore it because there is no negative area so the answer that you take is x is equal to 26,133 so if I use that here to say my x is equal to 26 comma 133 three. that is what we do I mean we got after solving it then now the question was I need to find determine the value of the new area you see where the error was now the new area which means I need to then come back here to say the new length now my new length is the one that is x plus 6 this is my new length but now my x is equal to 26 comma 133 plus 6 and then it will give me uh, in this case if I say 26 comma 133 plus 6 it gives me 32 comma 133 
and and then if I now look again at um, the new breath in this case it is equal to remember this is the new breath I have which is x minus 1 which is equal to 26 comma 1 3 3 minus 1 which is equal to 25 comma 1 3 3 remember it's in meters and it's in meters now the new area the question is find the new area the new area therefore will be equal to length times breadth which is equal to my length is 32 comma 133 times my breadth is 25 comma 133 and then if you do that you can find the new um, to be 32 comma 133 times 25 comma 133 then it will be 807 comma 5986 which is 800 and 807 comma 600 if you round off to three decimal places you can do it with the calculator to three decimal places is actually actually eight zero seven comma five nine nine which is eight zero seven comma five nine nine remember it is in meters squared so this was the solution now to the new area as the question said we needed to find or to determine the value of the new area and we did also note that when they were talking about the new area they were talking out about everything inside now the new shape which included some increase of three meters on each side so that is the new area they were referring to now if i look at the the answer that i got previously when we're looking at the area you see we're using different values and the answer that uh, we got there which is this particular answer we are saying this answer is wrong so this was the wrong one because it used wrong dimensions and the wrong dimensions were based on the wrong uh, interpretation of the question so guys i will encourage you to correct that and remember next time you are faced with a similar question how to approach it also it's good if you picked it up but if you didn't pick it up you can use this as a remedial for that particular part remember as we said um, the aim of these revision sessions is to ensure that you correct as much errors as possible now we have come to the end of our lesson remember guys to subscribe to our channel yeah, and then also to share this channel with your friends and your colleagues and i hope this was of benefit to you thank you